Let's get back to it. Stardew Valley Fair tomorrow? Okay. I've been gathering a heap of stuff to display there. We haven't got good luck. Yeah, whatever. Let me have a look at what I've got in my um chest, because I should have I hope I hope I've got nine things. Dear Loki, I just want to remind you that the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Remember, the, far, far, the fair starts at 9am in the town square. See you there. Oh yeah, boom. Nine. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. Sell this good as cheese. The day before the fair, we'll propose to Abigail. Better get prepared. It's gonna be a save. All of these pumpkins over here are not. seem to like this this corner nowadays I don't know what's going on I don't know why there's no food here but we've got grass over there you can just walk there nothing stopping you maybe this path is actually stopping you I don't know but stop being stupid can I bring Abigail to the fair I don't know I'm not sure if that's one that I can invite her to or do anything with. Nope, don't. Uh. Oh, iridium quality rabbit's foot as well. That truffle, mate. It's too expensive for you. Yes. Oh, so good. Oh, damn it, I sold the goat cheese, didn't I? Fuck. Every time.
that's good. We'll go say hi to Yogi. Check out. Ooh, we'll move this little bit of dirty grass. We don't need that there. <laughs> I can't be bothered right now. Let's go to Abigail's. What's going on, Emily? If I didn't have to work, I'd suggest we go on a nice picnic. Sorry, baby. I've made my choice. As much as I love your free-spirited nature, you're just a bit too much of a cooker. Hey, baby. My sword-wielding gamer. I, I could actually see myself becoming a farmer someday. Really? Oh, I'll accept this. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't know you felt the same. But how would that ever happen? Oh. oh, I did it. I did it. Oh, now what? Now what do we do? I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous. Should, should I, should, can I tell people? Richard, we're getting married. Leah. Talk to my boy Krobus. Boy Krobus, I'm getting married. Back again, I suppose it does fit into my theory of human behaviour. What do you mean, mate? I just wanted to tell you I'm getting married. Sure, I've been here. Oh, Harvey. How are you, my bro? Catch a uh, largemouth bass for Jody. Maybe in the wrong area, let me just go over to the mountains.
pretty run of the mill fish. <laughs> Just chilling. Oh, come on, mate. Where are these fucking largemouth bass? Yeah, too easy, man. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. I'll catch you another time. Good luck with Abigail. Thanks, man. Damn you. I don't need I don't need chubs, mate. What's up, Wolfie? Yes, yes. This is what we need. All right. Now, the next step, which I can't forget. Enter Jody's house with a largemouth bass at 7 p.m. We need a pumpkin for Caroline. Demetrius needs a melon. Gus needs a lobster. And we need to deal with a goblin. Okay. So right now I can just go down to the beach and hopefully find like a random crab pot that has uh, something in it. A uh, lobster in it. That'd be awesome. We lost power for a couple of hours drying... We lost power for a couple of hours, so I've been chilling in the pool. <laughs> Just sitting out back now, drying off in the breeze. Nice. At least you had something to chill with. When the power was out, you know. Here we go. Got a lobster. Hey, baby. I love you. Oh, dude, it's doing the same thing that happened to yours, bro. It's not not actually working. I'm gonna have to have a look at it as well. Oh, nah, seven o'clock. God. So glad you came, Loki. You brought the fish. Wonderful. You will not believe the story. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Like maybe it was an update that has changed some stuff, so we have to like just turn it back on. I don't know. Sam, could you come in here and help clean this fish? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Looks wonderful and it smells so fresh. Thanks so much for doing this, Loki. Kent caught a fish too, but he eats about a whole fish to himself. <laughs> What'd you catch, bro? It's the first time I've seen him crack a smile. That crispy bass was delicious. This breading was to die for. I almost feel like part of the family now. Oh.
That was nice. That was really nice. Now we'll go over to the Star Drop Saloon and chat to Gus. Does fresh fish smell nice? Well, I guess if like... I don't know. I'm not really a big fish fan, really. Like, I don't mind like the non-fish tasting fish. <laughs> so like, not, a, not keen on salmon. Yeah. Talk. Hey kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Oh, you better be helping me out soon, mate. Or I won't buy you that house. Like, if it doesn't smell yuck, it's good, right? <laughs> I guess. I don't know, maybe if you're cooking crispy bass like your whole life, sometimes you just know, like, the certain smell of certain largemouth bass, you're just like, nah, get it out of here. Nah, smells off. It's not off, I just caught it. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Wrong river. Get it out of here. Starting to build up a just a bunch of irrelevant stuff in here. Let's just throw it in. That stuff can go in the fridge. This this can go in the fridge. This can go in the recycling machine. That in the chest over there. Just go get some more hardwood. Dirty dog, sneaking out of nowhere.
awesome. Oh, Sandy's birthday. I missed it. Yellow Stardew Valley Fair. All right. 